What's up guys, Ashtinio plays here and welcome back to the 516 Sheffield United career mode series and today we have episode 18 of season 2 which is in fact by the way the last episode of the main season. Three more games to go but if we secure our playoff place over the next three games then that will mean another episode for next Monday. But that aside, anyways, um, let's focus on the first game against Sheffield Wednesday. Yep. Nine episodes later, the Steel City Derby is back in this career mode and it is time to hopefully do the double over them because we won 1-0 last time at their place and here is the team we're going to be using to face them. A strong 4-4-2 lineup with plenty of attacking ability and hopefully it's going to bring us the win against Wednesday and if it does, that's really going to help us on our way to the playoff places at the end of the season which if we make them, we give ourselves a real chance of back-to-back -back promotion and promotion to the top flight in just two seasons. And that would be quite something, but we have to get there first if that's going to be the case. And games like this need winning. And here Barry Bannon nearly scores on us in the early stages of the game, but he doesn't. That shot whistles wide. And then here, Agard, nice feet to get away from the defenders, but that ball is just too far away from Reed, and it's picked up by the keeper. And here we have the other scores, and as you can see, Nottingham Forest are 1-1 at Leeds at half time, so it's all going relatively well, and if we can get a winner here, then it's even better. And here, we look like scoring potentially here, but the rebound is prevented. And then here, Wednesday on the attack and the passing it around a bit before eventually Lavery takes the shot. But then Musa here plays it into ha Harris. Great ball. Reed gets his header saved and it's 1 0 as Cody stabs in the rebound and we take the lead. A crucial goal, not in terms of that it could win us the derby again, but it could get us a crucial three points on our way to playoff places. But they pushed for an equaliser and here it's a bit of a scramble until eventually this effort has to be saved by our goalkeeper and they try to push forward right at the end, it wasn't enough, we get the win 1-0, same score as last time, a great derby day win and a great three points for us. So that is the first challenge out of the way. A little harder than we would have liked, but we got over the line and we've got ourselves three points already. So, um, next game, if we win against Cardiff City, who were actually our first win of the season, by the way. If we beat them, or even just get a draw, that's our playoff place guaranteed. Because Nottingham Forest only drew. So, if we could do that, that would be absolutely fantastic and in the last game of the season we can then just relax and experiment. So, we do actually have some work to do before we can get to that point though. And Cardiff are a good side so we're going to have to work hard for the win. But early on here, great football and it makes it to wait a read. He makes no mistake in finishing it in the early stages and we take an early 1-0 lead. Great football by the lads and great finishing product. Because too many times this season we got ourselves in good positions but not finished it. That wasn't a problem here with Reed firing it into the corner. And with the initiative with us in the early stage, we had a lot of confidence and Google was confident enough to take that one from outside the box. Perhaps it wasn't the smartest of choices but they didn't punish this for it here, although they did come very close with Lafondra's shot just wide. But then from this corner here, it comes in and Burns hits the bar. And a defensive mess there, nearly leading to a goal for us. And then here, great goal and clearance, but it's headed back into the danger zone by Musa and driven home by Edgar. The centre half up from defence for the corner and he slams it home. For his first championship goal of the season actually and a great finish by him to sweep it into the net on the turn 
And here in this clip, although we haven't got all of it, we have a penalty and Sean Morrison gets a yellow card. It'll show on the replays here now actually why we got the penalty. Here, Reed's running into the box and he's chopped down, no contact on the ball from the defender. And it's a clear penalty. So uh, this was a chance to make it 3-0 for our most comprehensive win of the season. And Agard makes no mistake, 3-0. And if it stays this way, not only will it be our most comprehensive win of the season, it'll be a highly impressive one given the performance, and it will even put us guaranteed playoff positions. And that's it. As the commentator said, comprehensive. That would sum up this win. 3-0, and let's have a look at the table just to confirm we now can't be caught by Hull City in 7th. 7 points ahead with 1 game to go, so time to kick back and relax and maybe give some other players a chance to stretch their legs and show me what they can do. So one of the players back into the team is Matt Dunn and we've also got Jamie Murphy on the left, Lingard on the right, got Friars at left back and we also got Coots at centre mid. So. Yep, we're giving other players a chance in this last game against Brentford, who beat us earlier in the season when we were in a bad way. We ended up out on top of them in the league this season, so... Yep, I guess we kind of got our own back. But it'd be nice to win this game and see some of the players I've put in the team take advantage of this opportunity. And here, Lungard into the team is offside actually, but the keeper nearly embarrassed there, going right for him. But here, Matt Dunn into the team, cuts inside, and what a finish. Reminding me just probably why I should have used him a bit more, but, you know, what is done is done if you get the pun. No pun intended, really, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, he scores, and it's 1-0. Um, so, shades of last season, then. And here, Lingard is cutting in, uh, no one really on him, and he decides to take the curling shot, it kills just wide of the post, and that's unlucky there. Then here, Agard is played in behind, he's a bit too wide though, but he does find the pass into Murphy, but his finishing is poor, so he doesn't get that one. And, um, yep, they are on the ball here at the end of the half, trying to push forward for a goal, and... Yeah, that shot is off the bar, and if you just manage to see it at the end, it's very vague, but they do actually score from the rebound, so it was 1-1. And here, they very nearly score to make it 2-1 in the early stages of the second half, actually. But then here, from the corner, headed into the danger area and not really cleared, and Skoogle volleys in to capitalise on the mistakes. And it's 2-1, we're back in front, not as quality as the previous goal it was a rebound but it's still a goal nonetheless and we were 2-1 up but in the late stages of the game Gary Hooper forces that one over the line getting there ahead of the keeper who was in no man's land and that makes it 2-2 so it had been a pretty even contest and they once again got themselves back on terms So anyways, the end of the main season and a two-all draw. Not really mattering too much because we'd already got playoff positions anyway. And to me, I'm not too bothered where we finish because I know it can beat any of the teams around us. Um, so yeah, that is it for the main season. We have now played all 46 league games. And if we look at the table here, we finished fifth, four points out of Burnley. But we actually play Leicester the fourth place team and we haven't beaten them yet this season which is a worry but I'll sort out a plan to try and deal with them over two legs in the next uh, episode so two legged tie to try and reach the final if we get there it'll be three games next episode if you want to see more leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later peace out